development. The Nigeria is not on any autopilot. Nigeria is on a on a spiral uh, downfall, right? That is crash eh, will be more disastrous than anybody can ever imagine. It will be more, more, much, much, much uh, disastrous. Here, the Nigeria military, who are like uh, others, you know, the DSSC, the DIA, the NIA, and the rest of the police and the rest of them. They are more interested in protecting the uh, interest of uh, the criminals in charge of Nigeria than even Nigeria, not even to talk of you Nigerians. Their loyalty is to these rogues that they are sort of uh, ready to kill and defend in the face of uh, all of this. So you are on your own where you've always been. So 87 people in Kaduna again. Probably put the number of those that have been kidnapped in Kaduna alone to over 500 in the last uh, three weeks. And I still keep wondering how cool the rest of Nigeria seems to be. I mean, how, like, what, what do you want us to do? It'd be nothing. Here is uh, one of the usual uh, demo. I think this one is chief of army staff. I've been a chief of defense staff meeting with uh, the governor of Kaduna. And there is something about them. So, you know, I told you something about the Nigerian uh, military and the Nigerian police and the rest of them, right? These guys never really fought any war to defend Nigeria for anything. But they are major generals. They are captains. Ridiculously, they also work with walking stick. How could you be a soldier that works with walking stick? Eh? It's like it's now the after, you know, once you be, once they appoint you as chief of this chief of star, you need a walking stick. I don't know. Yeah. Military where no fit defend the country. Military that cannot save their own people. Military that is uh, a terrorist organization. Military that is milit I mean, terrorizing their own people. The military that is uh, committing genocide in their own country. The military that is con I mean, committing ethnic uh, cleansing in their own country, on their own soil. The military that is committing massacre of their own people on their, I mean, on, the, on their own soil. Shouldn't a military be that? Any smart things yeah. You better watch your mouth. Don't try the Nigeria military. And the, 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 saddest, the saddest thing I hear people say about them is if the Nigerian police want to work, they will work. If the Nigerian army, if they want to work, they will work. One silliest, stupidest gab I've ever many people actually repeated. You are celebrating a failed country that is military, apart from the bragging, the braggadocio, and all of that, which is mostly on civilians. They can only work if they want to work. They can only protect you if they want to protect you. What kind of country is that? Like, what kind of a system is that? Can some of you do say that, Abby? Anywhere you are in the world, if the Nigerian police want to find you, they will find you. But the same Nigerian police cannot find the terrorist that will keep over 1,000 people in the forest. And you want me to actually be proud of that? And, I mean, to be scared of that? <gasps> These are symptoms of a failed country, my dear. And there is no amount of uh, spinning. You want to spin it. Terrorists are having field day in Nigeria. 
as they are killing civilians, they are slaughtering policemen, slaughtering the military themselves. Soldiers, they drop gun, they run into a bush when they saw the bikes of the terrorists approaching. I saw that. It happened in Kaduna. Eh? Terrorists, they approach on Okada. Soldiers, they jump fence inside barracks, run into a bush, run into a mountain. I saw it on a video. That is not a military you should be telling us and say, if they want to work, they will work. Because that's one of the deceit they have told you. So you, don't want, you have no idea what corruption means, Abi. Corruption simply means you have a compromised security system. This is no longer about if they want to work, they will work. The system is there to protect the interest of the dark people, dark-minded people, evil people. And the system was supposed to weed people, I mean, such people off so that they don't contaminate them, and destroy them like they have destroyed them now. So it's pretty much like just business. A lot of them are just waiting for the time they are going to give them uh, the political appointment to become a uh, service chiefs so that they too can be posing for pictures, posing for videos in a starched, well starched uniforms in a country that is totally broken. Do you know those they can threaten? They actually believe them. You. When these uh, criminals, incompetent, uh, compromised criminals in uniforms in Nigeria, when they make any sort of a silly threat to the terrorists, they just. When they say they have power to bomb anybody anywhere, uh, do they really actually have that power? Or they have the power to bomb civilians and call it mistakes, to bomb the refugee camps and call it a mistake. Have you ever heard them mistakenly bombed the terrorist camps? Do you think they don't know where they are? That is what corruption means. So don't say if they want to work, they will work. They will never work because they are not made to work for you. The, what they are doing is exactly what they are, you know, positioned to do. Do you get that? So you have incompetent uh, criminals parading themselves in different uniforms and making you believe that they actually have uh, all it takes to keep you safe. When they are real danger that is coming after you, they are those that they will unleash on you and they will not say sorry. They murdered people. Over 500 people were murdered in Lagos alone during the answers. In one single night, over 300 people were slaughtered. You saw it, and you witnessed them did everything to spin it and spin it and spin it, but you aren't a victim then. You will still be a victim. Your time will come. Because in a rotten system like that of Nigeria, Baba, the shaking are turn by turn. It will eventually get to you. It may come in a different way. I've seen that many times. So who are those they are going to kidnap today? I don't know but definitely not me. You know that? Among the people that the terrorists will kidnap today, mm -hmm. you should know, because there's going to be others who are going to go for it today, tomorrow, the day after, and the day after that, and the day after that, and they will give you the same statement. We must bring the perpetrators to book. So when these criminals make threat, you are the only people that is scared. The terrorists just laugh at them. Eh? I have seen where vigilante rescued police officers from kidnappers. So what are we saying? Eh? The other day, somebody said that, uh, you know, a witch is running away from kidnappers. I said, why not? Why won't she? Eh? In Nigeria of today, we are police station now closed at 4 p.m. for security reason. We are vigilante, community vigilante, are now rescuing policemen from kidnappers. They say, call 999. Who do you think will pick it up? And who do you think is going to respond to it? Hmm? The people that are only trained to extort you, kidnap you. And some even said, like, what a waste. The Nigerian policemen are actually the kidnappers. They are good at it. It's called the official uh, legal kidnappers. We are policemen. Well, they call themselves policemen, but they usually don't look like one. Criminals. 
you know, can kidnap you, extort you, empty your bank, and even kill you. Criminals in uniform. We've seen them all everywhere. Hmm? So we're just going to keep who safe from who? If there's any security system that there should be put in place, it should be a security system, I mean, a security system that actually protects you from the Nigerian army and the Nigerian police and all of their own brother, sister agencies because they were not really set up to protect you. I promise you they're not. They are not. That's why everything about them will work against you. And that is why somebody who is a Nigerian wearing police uniform will open fire on the fellow Nigerians simply because he's doing his job. What the hell? Eh? So if you're running away from the kidnappers, you're running away from the police, you are, I mean, you're running away from the government, uh, is that not sort of a move for you to run out of uh, this world, like die, something like that? And the way I see it, until you are no more, they will never stop. No, they won't. Keep that in mind. Yeah, is well, what I said I saw on my way to the office. Is they said people stole coaches. You know coaches? Or, no, not coaches. Is that not coaches? They train, uh, yeah, coach, coaches. Anyway, listen. These are coaches of the Nigerian Railway Corporation loaded and about to be evacuated to only God knows where before they were intercepted and parked here at the railway terminus in Maiduguri. There are a lot of questions begging for answer in respect to this attempted evacuation of these coaches. Such information are not readily available at, at press time, but we are going ahead to find out from the authorities concerned. Here at the Bondo State Police Command, the Commissioner in Charge has confirmed to NTA News that six persons are currently under police custody in connection with that theft attempt, which followed a team of Bagu Samaritans from around the area where the incident happened. He further confirmed to us that the arrest rhymes with the executive order signed by the Bondo State Governor prohibiting all matters scavenging in Bondo State. There was a distress call received from railway quarters. Loader trailers were sighted at railway terminals in Meduguri, evacuating and loading properties belonging to Nigerian Railway Corporation. The properties include three coaches. On the receipt of that information, the divisional police officer ITE mobilized his men to behind railway quarters. And there and then, one Aliu Menasara was uh, arrested. The said Ali Menasara claimed that he is the director of Northeast District, headquartered in Bauchi, that he has been assigned by the MD of Nigerian Railway Corporation to come and evacuate the coaches to Plateau State, where, according to him, from his claim, that the Railway Corporation wanted to hand it over to Plateau State Government to initiate intra-railway transport within just metropolis. But the suspect has no identity to certify his claim that is actually the district manager of Northeast District, Bauchi. The police commissioner further confirmed that the principal suspect is currently at large and applauded the proactive response of the residents and pleaded for more vigilance to ease and enhance security in the state. In my Duguri, my Jama. How can somebody want to, how can somebody steal train, abandoned train coaches to be sold for scrap? Like, which kind of audacity be that? Like, why well, it is Nigeria? You know, I told you. Majority are just waiting for their own turn. Listen, if the guy is not caught and they manage to take away the coaches, break them to parts, sell them, did you hear his name? He may even go to next year's arch. Yeah, he will go to Mecca next year because that's some money. He's got some money. Hmm? You will see him. And wherever anybody says something that they call blasphemy, it's likely going to be one of those that will pick up the first 
stone or the first cutlass to kill that infidel. For oh, Aram, Aram, Aram. When you look at all of uh, the Sharia governors from northern Nigeria, they are all thieves. I'm talking about like born thieves. But they are also the champion of Allah, Islam. Hmm? That is the hypocrisy of the contraption called Nigeria. The hypocrisy cut across. So I just gave you the part where people will get mind to steal coach of train, abandon train. I don't get it. I mean, do you have that mind? Can you? Can you do it? No, as in on the lighter, can you? Like that's that's massive. Like we where I won't carry and go. Yeah. Well, it is what it is, Abby. That's the shock. I was in shock when I saw it. I was like, oh, it's unbelievable. But it is Nigeria. And sometimes they will tell you, he's just smart. And then you hear other people. Maybe they are just abandoned. Even if you didn't, if you, if you didn't take it, somebody in government can just sell them off as crap and steal the money. That's why we say in Nigeria, Nigeria, mm -hmm. in Nigeria, majority do not hate corruption. Honestly, majority do not hate corruption, oppression, and some of these things that we condemn all together. Majority of the Nigerians do not hate them. But the reason why they are so, some are so mad when the effect of this corruption, this, that, and all of that pops up like that. They are mad simply because they are not the ones doing it. They should be the ones to be oppressing you because they are waiting for their turn. And when their turn comes, they do not miss. An average Nigerian do not miss the chance to show to his neighbor or neighbor that she is better. I am better than you know. We just bought it. Now we are going to be better than everybody on this street. We just bought a generator. Now everybody will have to come to our house before they can actually buy water to drink because we just built a borehole. We are better than you. Ah, your own is better. Your house get water. Our house no get water. We have to go and fetch water. Oh, your own, you know that stuff, right? It is not about a community per se. It is mostly about themselves. Kansas, Nigerians, or should we say the Nigeria criminal leaders, they are the true reflection of the majority of Nigerians, Kansas, who are waiting for their turn. And if it's not, if they are not the ones doing it, it must be bad. Give them the chance to actually be in control of something a little bit. Then you will see the lady Thatcher in them. Eh? The iron lady in them. In all of that. Or the iron man in them and all that. I knew that a while back. So that is why your criminal leaders will always have a dose that will say, uh -huh. and so, is it the only one? Is that the first time? Have you spoken about the other one? What about that one? You know, Nigerians and their what about is him, right? I mean, you know what I'm saying. A lot of you will kind of take side and say, even though I don't like APC, even though I don't like uh, PDP, even though I don't, I don't like uh, uh, this and that, Iran, you. Anybody will start their statement by saying, I am not a fan of OB. He is a fan of OB. I am not a fan of uh, Tinumbu. He is a die-hard fan of Tinumbu. I don't really like... See, I'm somebody who doesn't like APC, I mean, doesn't like PDP, but he is a PDP supporter. Oh, I am somebody... You know, and, you know all those people who start their conversation like that. Do not listen to them. They are deceivers. Anybody that starts their statement with, I am not even a supporter, but... What is just... That one is not bad. I'm not even a supporter, but at least if, if uh, you know, this decision is good. A bunch of cowards, liars, lily liver, the fools. Pun it, 
you put it off and say, yeah, I support that. And that's why you see Nigerians that will stand up and defend all these rogues because they see themselves in them. There are many Nigerians who see themselves in Buhari. There are many Nigerians who see themselves in Tifnumbu. There are many like that who see themselves in all these rogues and criminals. And they are waiting for the chance and the time when they will be able to. That's why you see an average Nigerian that will tell you, ah, if that was me, if I was the president, I'll just say me they kill all of them. That's what he's going to do. Mm -hmm. Because he has seen people eh, who led Nigeria, who have killed people, and nothing happened. Here you get. At least go once, supervise, I mean, supervise the, the, supervise the genocide that saw over 5 million uh, harmless civilians killed in the uh, Biafra genocide that they call a uh, civil war. It's not civil war. It's a genocide. Nobody was that responsible. They buried that. That dark part of uh, Nigeria history was buried in the dark and it's continued to haunt Nigeria till tomorrow. You don't know that, do you? Do you really think that people are demanding after 50 years, 54 years, is it? 54 years of uh, the Biafra genocide, the descendants of uh, the survivors are now damning the same fraudulent Nigeria to say, we want to leave. What do, you, what do you think is happening? They buried the history. They buried that darkest part of uh, Nigeria history, thinking it will go away. Guess what? It didn't. It did not. So the ghost is something Nigeria now, even till tomorrow. And it is not going to go anywhere because the perpetrators, the murderers, the genocidists, the criminals who actually did that, they were never punished. They were, they were rewarded. They were rewarded with higher positions in government. They were rewarded with generational wealth in a corrupt system in Nigeria. And then they said, no winner, no vanquish. Let us move on. No, you don't move on from that. That's the darkness. So definitely, a lot of you who are pretty much uh, like your leaders, you will give excuses for them. And that's why you always see people that will give excuses for them because they see themselves in those people. They want to be like them. They will do worse than that person. With everything you have seen inside all these rogues in, in charge of Nigeria, there are those who grew up seeing themselves in them, waiting for their turn, like turn by turn. I hope you get that. And at the end of the day, eh, the contraption that they are hoping that we are all hold in, like, uh, you know, unable to actually leave or escape and the rest, we actually burst from within. I need to remind you of this, by the way, because it won't be the first time or second time or even the third time I'm saying this. The breaking up and implosion of Nigeria is going to happen from within. The job that you and I must ensure that we do very, very well is to make sure that those who did not know, or sorry, those, those who doesn't know that yet, should know and be prepared for the aftermath of that implosion. Now, them go blow up Nigeria, not me and you. The only thing you and I must do is to make sure that when the implosion happens, you are not on the part of those who are trying to patch it, trying to save it. People must be enlightened that it is the yoke that is about to break. Excuse me. It is the yoke that is about to break. And when the yoke Eh, it's like combustion that was going to burst from inside. So when the yoke get heated from inside and it becomes so unsettled, shaky like that, eh, by the time it's going to explode, it's going to be like, Pwah! like that. Their corruption will destroy Nigeria. Their impunity, their divisive uh, rhetoric, their hateful politics, 
these are the ingredients of implosion. Add it to poverty. Add that as well eh? to insecurity. What about uh, tribal ethnic profiling? All of these are ingredients that are going to, they are cooking now, they are cooking. So when these guys choose not to stop, because they won't. They feel like Nigerians are captured, Nigerians are conquered, so uh, what's the stress? It's working, it's paying, there is money, there is power, and there's no challenge per se. So why do we need to change? They can run, they can cry, they can scream, they can complain, do all of that and all that. They can be keypad warriors and all that. We do not have to bother. So they won't slow down because they don't feel threatened or challenged that any of you could pull. They have enough uh, to keep you busy and divided. Add that to the poverty. So they're not worried. And that is going to be their greatest undoing. I promise you. And I am monitoring it, documenting it, and helping the fragile minds, confused minds to understand the situation they are in in order for them to make an informed decisions. The implosion is going to happen. The, 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 the economy that is collapsing, the Naira that is uh, being devalued, uh, the insecurity that has now become an industry, uh, you know, all of that, these are the little, little, they are not little possible, they are the little, little ingredient that will make up the biggest implosion of our lifetime. When is that going to be? I don't know. But is it going to happen? Absolutely. When you find yourself in a, in a hole, you know what they say? When you find yourself in a hole, you should stop digging. Yeah. You're already in a hole. You don't want to go deeper, do you? Then you have to stop digging. If you don't stop digging, you will dig your grave. These criminals are digging their graves. And they are also, they are digging it deep enough that it will swallow Nigeria. Hello, Kossile. It's not you and me. I don't have an army. Eh? I don't have an army to pull together to go and face which other army. No. But we will have uh, a revolutionary mind in their millions. Eh? And that can actually be more lethal than that gun and the gun bolts. Gun trucks, explosives that you know as uh, the tools of uh, warfare. But the greatest of them is the mind. If the mind of the majority is cleansed and cleared, informed, reformed enough that they can be certain of what they want, that's more little than that gun, than all those things they are putting money to buy. You can disarm the greatest army in the world. Eh? with the greatest power of the people. That's the number. You can. And I do believe that, by the way. An ideology that people will be willing and ready to die for, something that you probably will taste and you do not want to taste anything, uh, you know, poorer than that. We need to feed the minds. We need to feed the minds of the young, the old. The old may be too much of a job. But you see those young ones? They are just like fertile lines. I mean, the fertile, uh, sorry, fertile line, lands, right? Where we can indeed grow some beautiful ideas. Ideas that will liberate generations, I believe. Going forward, here is a, a place in Lagos where for those who are affected by the cost of living, they could buy food cheaper, courtesy of Lagos State Government. Do you mind? Hello. Hello. Thank <laughs> you. 
We are yet to receive the report of any injury, but of course there has been stampede and all that. That's from Lagos. I have my first caller this afternoon. Are you there? Hello. Oh, hello. Please, um, can you take me off of the here? I just want to report something to you. 